trying to solve trigonometric equations, this time using our calculator. And we want our solutions theta to be in radians. So pretty basic equation going on here. We have sine of theta equals uh, eight tenths. As we get going on this, what I would probably go ahead and do is first make sure my calculator is in radian mode. But then to get theta out from inside of the sine function, we're going to apply a sine inverse to each side. So as we apply this, we have sine inverse of 8 tenths over on the right-hand side. This will give us theta on the left-hand side. And I'm going to say this is approximately equal to, just going to put this into our calculator. I got this to be about 0 0.927. 295, it just keeps going. Because we're not um, confined in between, say, 0 and 2 pi for our solutions that are coming out here for theta, what we'd also want to do at the end of this is add in plus 2k pi. And what that's doing is that's getting us coterminal angles. If we continue going around additional times around the circle, um, where k is going to be an integer. So 0, 1, 2, 3, or negative values, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3 can get plugged in here for this k. That, if it was positive, that's going to be wrapping around an additional time in the positive direction and ending at the same spot. Or if it's negative k, that's wrapping around an additional time um, in the negative direction. And, and our terminal side is still going to end up in the exact same spot. All right. You may think, well, we're done, we're done, but we're not quite done. So you gotta be a little bit careful. When you're using your calculator, in this case, what happened was we simply put this in our calculator. We got this angle coming back to us. Um, we're not really sure where that is or any of that business. This turns out being a first quadrant angle. And when sine is equal to a positive ratio going on on the right-hand side, the calculator is going to return a an angle that's in the first quadrant. So we've got an angle in the first quadrant. Let's be careful. Let's use the phrase, all students take calculus. This is just a phrase that reminds us when things are positive and when they're negative. All right. Every ratio is going to be positive in the first quadrant, sine, cosine, tangent, all their reciprocals. Only sine is going to be positive in the second quadrant, tangent in the third, and cosine in the fourth. So we're looking for when is sine going to equal a positive ratio. So a positive value over on the right-hand side. We already found the one that's in the first quadrant. That was given to us, or we just found quadrant one using our calculator. We also want to find one in quadrant two. So how we do that is I'm going to use that decimal that came out, the 0.927295. I'm going to make that into a reference angle into the second quadrant. So 0 0.927 dot 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 is a reference angle in the second quadrant. We want to calculate the angle that wraps around from the first quadrant and lands in the second quadrant that has this as the reference angle. So the calculation there is going to be pi would be halfway around, but I want to take away this reference angle. So the calculation for theta is going to be pi minus that reference angle, 0.927295 dot, 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 will be this angle that goes into the second quadrant. So quadrant two angle will be given by this. But at the end, I'll also probably go ahead and tack on the plus 2k pi to represent all of our solutions and get those coterminal angles that are also going to be in the second quadrant by the same calculation, but you've added two pi or maybe added four pi or six pi to wrap around additional times. Um, we don't have to worry about using that as a reference angle in the third quadrant because only tangent would be positive in the third quadrant and sine would be negative. While our original equation had sine being positive, same idea for the fourth quadrant, only cosine's positive here. Sine would need to be equal to a negative so we don't need to worry about uh, using this angle as a reference angle in the third or fourth quadrants. So I hope this helps out in using your calculator and um, finding all of those solutions in all of the appropriate quadrants. Good luck.